All right, welcome back to the Surf Coach Nuff channel. In this video, we're looking at the round 21 review of the 2023 NRL season. Uh, so, decent week. Uh, in the end, 1,247 was the score, which was top 8% for the round. Uh, saw a slight uptick in the season rank and perilously close to the top 2K. So I think that's what we're targeting. Uh, top 2K plus probably... Um, a nice little head-to-head -head cashy win <laughs> is the dream. Uh, and I guess for those that are following along pretty closely, that's not a typo. We still have five trades to go. Um, as we look at a team, just I guess to, to go through what we talked about last week, was in the uh, the round preview. Thanks, Colonel. We discussed uh, trading Latrell and Isaac Targa in. Uh, and then I guess maybe an hour after I dropped the video, uh, Latrell was ruled out, which was 24 hours off, which was nice of them to do so. Uh, so we reversed that trade um, and sort of, I guess initially he was out for a Zarko. So basically it became Targo out for a Zarko. I bought Ruben Garrick back in. Uh, and then at 1.30, I got a message from a good mate of mine who uh, was like, uh, Targo's out, you haven't seen. I was literally just about to put on the game. I'd, I'd been doing some chores Sunday morning, about to watch the the dogs. I don't know why, just sucker for punishment. But glad I did because, uh, yeah, I saw the news. or Well, I got the news anyway, but Targo's out. And luckily, because I'd made the change, um, and even it would have worked the other way too, because Garrick played in the game after, I could reverse that trade too. So I ended up with the exact same squad. As I tried to do at the end of uh, last week, and it worked out okay, clearly. So, um, we'll have a look at the, the team and how it went. So, Harry Grant with a, a 36. So, I guess the Storm were a bit underwhelming against the uh, the Knights. I was sort of half watching it, um, it ended up becoming a bit more just background noise sort of thing. Uh, got distracted with whatever else, but um, <laughs> yeah, you know. Harry Grant, we, we can probably expect a bounce back from them this week um, and obviously Harry Grant will be a big part of that uh, Reid Marnie with a 20 so it sounds like the story goes that he'd been sick all week with the flu and you know he wasn't supposed to play but he demanded to play um, and then for whatever reason he was playing as a lock forward um, and just looked a bit out of sorts, obviously, you know, he looked quite unwell too, um, when, who was it made the break, was it Crichton or Tolu down the right hand side, and you could see he tried to cover and chase, but he was just nowhere in the contest, and then, yeah, just a couple other sort of plays and stuff around the field, he just didn't look the good, so, yeah, between that and all the positional switches, it, it might be one, that might be a move we have to make is to, to get out of the Reed Marnie pick. It looks like uh, the coach is trying a few different things and, uh, and you know, a couple of other reports coming out from the club. I uh, might elaborate more on that in the Bulldog project where it's more appropriate. <laughs> uh, talk all things Bulldogs. But, um, yeah, not not good this week anyway. It wasn't expected to be much good, given they were playing Penrith, but uh, yeah, definitely wanting more than 20 out of him. Anyway, onto the front row, Payne Haas, 62, you know, solid return from him. Uh, Joey Tarpany with the 61, you know, that's that's what we expect from him. Uh, holding Big Tino, obviously, Harry Edwards with a 36, so... You know, every every time he does sort of get those that opportunity the dogs where they're they're short on forwards, you know, he always does a um a decent job. Um not not by no means spectacular, but you know, that's fine. Uh Dave for feeder with fifty seven. So I guess, you know, again a well beaten sort of side there against the Roosters. So, you know, you take that. Uh Hopgood with a sixty three, solid. Tohu Harris with a 52, so again, a bit underwhelming given what he can produce, but I think I'm hoping that the buy will sort of reinvigorate him and then he'll be up and about for the uh, the run home. Uh, Nikoro with a 36, so I guess no attacking stats from him this week and 
and again the Sharks there's a few issues there too um, you know maybe not quite as much as the Dogs but uh, still a bit of unsettled um, situation there and Claude Matungi with the 40 so uh, you know I would have liked to see more but uh, it's a bit of that's a bit of a the price you pay with those sort of high upside picks is that they can uh, then have a flat one. So I guess this is where things start to, to turn around a bit in the back line. So Nico Hines was our captain this week with the 86. And uh, I guess all in all wasn't the worst option. There's clearly one better option that uh, was overlooked. Um, and, and roughly so in hindsight. <laughs> Uh, Sean Johnson with a 74, so you know, I think he ended up outscoring Cleary, um, scored 70 from memory, well that might have been pre-update, how did he go, 81, so there you go, could have got 7 points this week out of the trade, I guess was worried it was going to be a lot more. Um, and then once he comes back from the buy, I think there'll be much of a muchness. So, what, uh, yeah, continue to save a trade and hold SJ. Caelan Ponga with a 96. So, I guess we weren't really expecting such a good return against the Storm. But, uh, yeah, he's killing it at fullback. So, <laughs> set and forget, I think, in the 5-8 slot for the rest of the year. Um, unless you, you're struggling for a, a fullback, a bit like myself, because of the, the price of some of them uh, and the injuries to to uh, one of them. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, glad I got on about 400k ago. Matt Burton with the 50, so again, didn't even think he'd get that much, to be honest, going into the week. But, um, you know, he had scored Kyle Matungi on the bench, so it would have been nice to have him in. But uh, that's how it goes. <laughs> uh, Greg Marzi with 79. Yep, he just keeps finding tries and and runs and tackle busts. Joey Manu with the 78. So, you know, he's still ticking along nicely. You know, he's always one that I, I worry about a bit when he's playing in the centres. But, you know, he's averaging 67 for the year and he's played most of that in the centres. So that's fine. Uh, Ruben Garrick with the 69. So I guess, you know, obviously Manly getting a lot of tries in that first half meant he uh, he had a few goals to add on to his usual work rate. And Jacob Carras, so obviously with the, the carnage and the, the trades this week, um, hard to play Kiraz, but this is why we've got him in the side. You know, he's capable of just punching out base, even in a potentially bad matchup. Um, yeah, so great result. CNK was our VC this week with a 69, so obviously not enough to really do anything with, but still a solid effort from him. Uh, and then James Tedesco, so, you know, had that extra week off to freshen up, uh, and he had just come back with a bang, 134, so, you know, I guess I'd, I'd always, you know, sort of thought the Titans were sort of open to that sort of score from a player like Tedesco, but... Uh, didn't have the cojones to, to plop the VC on this week. <laughs> so, yeah. in terms of, I guess, what the moves for this week, um, again, the obvious one is bringing in Latrell, assuming he's fit to go this week. Um, whether it's a Sarko we drop or not, I'm not 100% sure because they have the dogs this week. And the dogs are in a bit of turmoil, as it were. CNK, I don't think we want to sell. Uh, Marnie, so he's got the Broncos this week. What's the draw look like for the Roosters? Manly, yeah, they, they, well, they showed they were doing alright. Against the Sharks. The Dolphins, okay. Para, no, Para's going alright. Tigers, so they, I guess, yeah, round 26 to grand final week. I think Marnie's going to be a good one to hold. I think, yeah, maybe just off the back of that, we hold Marnie. Ruben Garrick. 
as I have this week. The dragons, that's a all right, it's a fixture. And then the roosters we just saw, should have remembered that one. Penrith, oh, that's not ideal. The Warriors in New Zealand. So I think this is why I was I was leaning towards trading out Garrick is that rough draw through the, the next few weeks. And then the dogs. So oh, round twenty six again, so okay, I've got a hold Garrick. <laughs> the Knights. So it might be Marzu as much as I, I do want to hold him just because he's a weapon. Or oh, actually oh Dolphins and Newcastle. Who's this week? Oh, Dolphins here, got the Dogs, got the Raiders. Uh, actually, might go left field, shout. Oh, as much as it pains me to do it, I think what I'm going to do is it's going to be Burton. <laughs> Sorry, Matty, I love you, but... Uh, I need Latrell this week. It's going to take forever to load. So, um, down the, oh, hang on, I need to switch players around. So, Manu's going to go in. 5-8, that's the door slams behind me. Can we get Latrell in? And... Then gives us what 117. So the other thing we might do if we can afford it. Actually no, <laughs> it's super tempting, but I keep forgetting. South by round 26 grand final head to head week. Unless I don't use any other trades until then, <laughs> so because I'll have to trade both out. What are my other options? Not much. <laughs> so. No, excuse me there. Yeah. So I think that's the, the overall play for sure. And then, you know, just you have to trade these guys out. But, um... No, I'll just do it anyway for the purpose of the video. <laughs> and how it would look like, yeah. So obviously we'll, we'll confirm things in the round preview, but yeah, you know, that, that makes everything look better. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so obviously for the VC this week, Latrell against the Tigers makes sense. Uh, and then the Dolphins against the Dogs could be one to target. For captain, I've only really got a Sarko. Actually, he's got to come in for clock start. Just swap them around, get Manu in the action. Ponga against the Knights. Oh, so, Harris can swap with Kwamatangi, Kugi. Oh, actually, Cookie will probably start when he plays early in the week. Yeah, so it's, if it's not Hines and who captains, I don't have any Cowboys players against the Titans. Yeah, yeah it's just going to be something like that. I think pretty boring, but. I guess, you know, even when he's playing the teams that are, like, they're not winning, he still scores okay, so we'll just have to go with Hines, I think. But, yeah, like I said, uh, I've only just opened it up, to be honest, and, and wanted to get the review out nice and quick. Um, and, yeah, so I guess that's where my thoughts are at anyway. Uh, if you've got any thoughts, feel free to, to throw them down in the comment section below. Um, like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content as usual and other than that I'll catch you in the next one